Or, um, uh... folks thank you again for visiting rock hard riffs please again visit us on facebook and twitter on facebook we have song of the day and fun stuff like that uh, so check it out if you're into it today's episode we are going over the esp e2 mystique black fr and uh, fr standing for floyd rose now really quickly let's go over while i'm showing you a picture here let's go over all the specs this has a set neck, and we're going to take close-ups and look at it. Uh, set neck, it's 25 and a half inch scale. It's mahogany body and neck. has a maple top. Uh, ebony uh, fretboard, which I absolutely love. Uh, 42 millimeter locking nut. has a thin U uh, contour for the neck. 24 jumbo frets. has all black hardware and everything on there. Uh, Goto tuners. Shower uh, strap locks and uh, the uh, a German Floyd Rose original, which I had some stuff done to it, and I'll show you what I have. Uh, it has, as far as the pickups go, the bridge is a, a Seymour Duncan TB14, and the neck is an SH1, and of course, it has a black finish there. And uh, also, there, uh, one of the primary reasons why uh, I'm doing this video and why I started my channel is that when I went to buy this thing, I couldn't find any reviews on it, really, uh, on YouTube. Just one by a gentleman by the name of Pat Heath, and I'm going to link his video in the description. Please take a look at that. Uh, and boy, does he do an awesome job on it. He wrote a song specifically for this guitar, and that's what he did. You, you'll see it on YouTube, so I'll link that. Make sure you check it out. Anyway, so let's take a closer look at this puppy. Uh, this thing goes for about uh, $1,700, $1,800. And just before I was starting to shoot this video, I was looking at the ESP website, and they do not show this guitar, uh, the Black FR, anymore on their website. There you can see the E2 in the headstock. That's kind of a groovy headstock, huh? And you see the, the uh, locking nut there for the vibrato. Beautiful beautiful ebony fretboard absolutely love that and you can see the ESP at the 12th fret there and again that's full 24 fret really good access to it uh, you can see it has a nice little binding and that goes all the way around the guitar all the way around the headstock up and down the neck and of course all the way around the body and you can see the contour of the maple top on there uh, this thing is about eight and a half pounds so it has a little weight to it, uh, but uh, it's not uncomfortable. And again, it has the contoured... Let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the back of it. I'm going to take off the whammy bar so I don't mash it when I lay it down. And again, this is the German Floyd Rose. And what I did is I put a bigger block in it. And I'll show that to you in a second. And let's lay this down. Let's take a look at the back. And it has a volute right there, as you can see, They're just below the ESP logo. And you go to a locking turner, tuners, and the neck. And you can see the cutaway here, which is very, very comfortable. Set neck. Look at the finish on that thing. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely love it. So now let's take a look inside the case. I've got the case here. And there's a fit. It's like a fitted case. Very, very nice. Comes with the guitar. So this is the old uh, block that was in the Floyd Rose in there. And I put in a much, much bigger one, much heavier, and that's for sustain. So that's awesome. And I'll show you a couple other things I did to the guitar as well. And there, of course, is your little pouch there. Now, what I did, because I don't do a lot of swells, I had this tightened. And what they did is they put like a... Uh, some kind of gasket in here or something because I'm always hitting this thing with my right hand no matter what so I had that it's kind of, tightened isn't the right word but it's something like that so anyway that is the guitar that is the ESP E2 black FR for Floyd Rose 
plays great sorry I couldn't demonstrate it right now I'm just limited on time as far as my videos go but I demonstrate several songs on this guitar and again you can link to Pat Heath's video which I'm going to put in the description so check it out all right guys have a great day thank you very much for viewing and we'll see you soon